All right, hey, Enix Sears here, founder and publisher of Business of Architecture, and I just wanted to record this quick little video for you on an advanced client attraction tip if you're a designer or an architecture firm. So I'm just going on my little morning walk here. We're down here halfway between San Diego and Los Angeles. Uh, one of my buddies flew out from uh, Utah to spend a bit of time with us, and he brought he brought his little drone. It's a little. It's a DJI drone. It has a high definition camera on it. It's, a, it's about the size of my palm, about the size of my hand. And he said, "Hey, Nick, you want to you want to play around with this?" So of course, why not, right? Play around with the drone. So I kind of I was controlling it with his uh, with his cell phone, making it move back and forth, going up and down. And I was just like, "This is absolutely amazing. I'm completely sold." Kind of laughed. He said, "You know, the the, the best way to make someone want to buy what you have." is to actually let them experience it. All right, so that's, that's the first thing that I'm gonna put out there for you to think about today, is how can you help your clients experience the benefit and the value of working with you before they actually make that commitment? And I'll give you a little tip. So the second thing is, I was talking with another friend who lives in Austin and a couple days ago, and she told me how she went on their house tour that the AI puts on over there in Austin. And she said there were just some amazing houses. So for any of you who actually were in that, you know, had a house in that tour, congratulations on doing some fantastic architecture over there in Austin. But she said, Enoch, before I went on that tour, I was happy. I would have thought that I would have been content to live in my $800,000 home. And But she said, now I see how you know, I want a $2 million home. <laughs> and so once again, we see this principle at work when she was able to experience the value of what those architects create, it creates irresistible desire within her. So if you're looking to get rich and famous as an architect, one of the things that you wanna do in all of your communications and all of your branding and everything is to be able to create irresistible desire in the hearts and minds of your ideal clients. And one of the ways to do that, of course, is to help them experience the services you offer before they actually have the chance to work with you. Now, the second thing that's a little bit deeper, this is an advanced tip that I'm gonna throw out there for you. If you notice this friend of mine, she said when she went on this house tour, it actually changed her perception of what she thought was possible and who she is. So when we get really powerful desire, in the hearts and minds of the people who we want to work with or that we find and identify as our ideal clients. We're actually creating an identity change in who they are. If you can help them to see themselves in a new way, if you can see them, help them see themselves as someone who is willing to spend that kind of money to have that kind of lifestyle, that is a very, very powerful thing. Now, a lot of people, when they come to you, if they haven't experienced that change, they're going to say, oh, that's too expensive. Uh, you know, why are plans so much? This is a huge investment. And they're just going to be looking at the cost of working with you. On the other hand, if their identity shifts and their standards change and they realize that they aspire to that higher level of value, cost issue fees are going to be nothing. I mean, look at it this way. People spend, we spend tons of money on cars. We spend tons of money on a house. Even if we don't buy a $2 million house, we're still spending hundreds of thousands of dollars here in the US or more. And, and yet, you know, your, your clients might complain a little bit about the price of your fees. Well, the reason why they're doing that is because you haven't made very, very clear the value of what you're providing compared with the cost that they'll be paying. Anyways, a couple of thoughts for you. Hey, Bridget, good to see you on here. Drop me a line. Let me know how you guys are doing. Anyways, that's it for today. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. This is Enoch signing out. Carpe diem.